let's go for our next poet in the open mic. He's one of our fucking regulars. He's been coming here. Well, he was at the old Portland Poetry Slam before it became this one. He's one of our favorite voices. He's a little fucking weird, but we're Portland. We know how to deal with that shit. So please give it up, make a shitload of noise, and welcome up Josh Lubin. A blood, blood, blood. print out of the computer. <laughs> so, we're gonna do another fucking poem, but you won't get that nice fucking intro next time, motherfucker. <laughs> I already wasted my nice intro on you. <laughs> so, our next poet hopefully has his shit already printed out. Please give a huge round of applause and welcome him up. Give a big amount of noise for Stu Patterson. Applause, applause, applause. about Carl Jung's shadow archetype, so I will share that with you now. I let these words flow through me, because for once in my life, I want someone to see inside my mind the convoluted thoughts that once lay dormant, those that I fought not to recognize, realize, or put together, because they anesthetized my being, all for the better. I'm awake now, and what can I see? A single line under this notebook paper's pencil, friend, and it reads, I need to be a writer, free of greed, free of hate, full of hope, so take the fate where it needs to go. All right, so writing number one, your shadow approaches, and he says to you, my words are like a hot pack that I swung over your cold shoulder. They are so bold that you can't ignore more than what hit the sore spots on your barred door. You did not want anyone to see the frightful horror that you wanted to be something different. Okay, so you see your shadow, an epiphany hits, you retort. My metaphors are the crowbar that uproot the dangerous floorboards of the rotted house that you thought was the core of my personality, but no more because under those rotted floorboards it is full of stagnant mold spores, so my door is unbarred and my floorboards tore up. What the fuck am I scared of? It's only an act that was coupled with a subject that I didn't like. Is it them that I hate or myself I dislike? It's both, you see. For everybody you hate, it reflects on yourself every day in the shadow of your personality which lies behind a barred door of unreality, so break it. Break it. Your hate reflects on yourself, so make it a way to realize your lies. <laughs> 